Hello there, welcome back to Simon Shed. Today uh, we're going to be having a look at the Just Plug lighting system from Woodland Scenics. So in my last layout, uh, Bodenham Woods, I got to the end of it and sort of almost as an afterthought added a few lights inside some of the buildings and some uh, sort of yard lighting in the outdoor areas. Um, and I was really uh, impressed with the uh, the difference it made it really does uh, sort of bring it to life a lot more and because of that i wished i'd have uh, sort of planned it a bit better and integrated it more and uh, thought about it so this time with the uh, shed valley railway layout that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm uh, planning ahead and that is why i'm looking at this uh, just plug system now because uh, it should make things a lot simpler. So let's start with the uh, power supply. Now uh, this is around £20 but uh, you don't need this. You can actually uh, use a train controller and uh, use that to power the system. So if you've got uh, the right output on your train controller or a spare controller that you no longer use you can uh, do away with that and uh, power it via the train controller instead uh, then we've got the main bit of it which is the uh, lights and hub set so we've got a couple of lights in there and the main sort of hub that they plug into and We've got some nano LED lights, a couple of those, and we can control it separately with this auxiliary switch. So this is uh, obviously designed to be an expandable system and this is just the starting point, but let's uh, get it opened up and plug it together and see what we've got. So, transformer, obviously, and uh, if we look at the uh, connector on there, we can see that the light hub has a power in socket and four sockets for lights and individual controls for each light. And you can see that, for example, on the nano lights, they have the same type of connector and also with the hub we get these uh, which are more designed for uh, lighting inside of buildings and obviously these LEDs have the same plug as well uh, same with the switch but I'll go through how that uh, can be used in a little bit later so let's plug it in auxiliary switch uh, goes into this control we just have to remove the sort of loop wire which obviously makes it always on and replace that with the switch so we can choose okay let's give it a test so at its simplest level uh, the auxiliary switch and uh, just turns everything on on one hub and we can see the two LEDs there and the two nano LEDs 
over there. So, at the moment, that's with everything at max brightness. Uh, it is quite sunny today, but you can tell how bright they are. But now we come to what I think is going to be the uh, killer feature for me, is obviously individual brightness control for individual LEDs. So we can uh, make the scene look as realistic as possible and not have sort of light uh, too bright and unrealistic and bleeding through walls and things in buildings. So yeah, that's pretty simple to put together. And uh, for me, the main thing is no sort of wiring in resistors. I'm trying to change the brightness via uh, soldering in different resistors and things. It's just nice and convenient and simple. And roughly take three of this. Uh, struggling to find a time of day where it's light enough so you can actually get the camera to focus and, and dark enough to actually uh, see the lights as I can see them uh, with my eyes here and get them to look the same on the camera. So hopefully third time lucky. Uh, so we've got the uh, a couple of buildings to show you. The uh, Scenecraft uh, Church and the uh, thatched cottage. Yeah, the thatched cottage. So we'll have a look at the church first. Um, if you would like to see these buildings in more detail in a separate video, then uh, just drop me a comment and I can do that. But for now, uh, let me find the switch and turn the lights on. And obviously now it's way too bright and it's coming through the walls. Uh, what we can do is sort of paint the inside of the building to sort of help block out the light, but we can probably get a much better uh, a much better balance than that by just turning it down a bit. So I've got uh, one of the LEDs at, at this end you can see here, and uh, another. If I can find the right switch. Not that one. There we go. At that end. So if we have a play around with that, we can get a nice balance of just bright enough. And obviously we can have different brightnesses at different ends of the church, but uh, I think that's looking pretty good for a first attempt. So you can immediately see that it uh, does make a huge difference to layouts when they have lighting integrated. And uh, yeah, that was all of a few seconds fiddling around with uh, the control switch for each LED. And there's the cottage. And again, starts off way too bright. But we can soon make it a lot more realistic. So that it's just a nice subtle light coming out the window. But yeah, liking the adjustability. So I think next we'll take a look about at how you can expand the system. So if we look at the instructions that came with the uh, hub, uh, particularly this one, you can see uh, how they want you to exp expand it, which is with these expansion hubs. And uh, the good thing is you only need one power supply and that will apparently do up to 50 LEDs. Uh, and yeah, you just keep plugging in light hubs into the expansion hubs and expansion hubs into expansion hubs and just keep going. So the other interesting thing I spotted was uh, with the uh, control um, port which uh, you saw me connect to the switch uh, you can actually wire that up to a DCC unit so potentially you could have 
uh, different lights switchable via DCC. And on that note, the instructions that came with the switch, uh, just briefly, do show you different ways of uh, sort of switching uh, different lights off individually or at least different hubs off individually by putting the uh, auxiliary switch in different places. Um, I think it's, yeah, this bottom one here. Uh, so obviously this switch will turn off the whole lot and this switch will obviously make this hub independent. So you can uh, configure it that way. But overall, uh, really impressed with the uh, ease of setup and adjustability of the uh, just plug system. So uh, yeah, looks like I'm going to be using that on my new layout. So that's about it for this video. Any questions, just drop them in the comments and please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.